guys for the channel and thank you for watching and don't forget to support by subscribing to the channel let's play this game let's see what happened and let's have a good game and for the teams that are struggling to meet expectations richard what kind of advice would you give them at this point of the season well, Kev, it all depends on why they're struggling. If they're trying to integrate new pieces, you got to stay patient. If it's chemistry issues, though, that can get a bit more complicated. How would you handle chemistry issues when you play? Well, some things are just unavoidable. Some teams have great chemistry, and some teams, not so much. And checking out Minnesota's opening lineup. Underneath in the post, Towns and Gobert. Conley out there with MP. And it's Edwards in at the three spot. Now here's Wiggins. Not a good performance from him in that loss to Houston. Thompson against MP. Here's Curry. Minnesota with the rebound. They defeated Charlotte in their last game. They shot the lights out from deep. Really stretched out the defense. And MP. that one. Tough to keep the consistency from deep. But they did it last time. And that'll start us off already. You can feel the tension in this arena. And sometimes getting that first bucket puts momentum in your corner. But we'll just have to see. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Well, I did get a chance to speak with Steve Kerr a little bit. He said priority number one is to not let these guys get going from the perimeter. Do not let them start getting open threes. It's a recipe for disaster. Kevin? Thanks, David. Devising a strategy to take away that three-point shot. And here is Curry after the three-pointer from Carl Anthony Towns. Here's Thompson. That balls. Ice hey. feed that time for Wiggins. And the way Thompson keeps his balance is impressive. Able to fend off the defense there. And you love seeing that great mobile one drive a second time. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. Now oh, here's Towns. 11 points oh, for him in that nice game Towns. against Charlotte. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, when he gets engaged this early in the game, it's bad news for the defense. He can roll this start throughout the rest of the game. Here's Curry. 23 points for him the last game against Houston. And he made a living at the line as well. Got there over and over and did some damage. MP. And foul on the shot, five. so he'll get a chance Andrew at the line. Wiggins. It's going to be on five. Andrew Wiggins. Giving five. his all on that play. MP the working the hard goals. to win the whistle. MP. And he's good on the second. For so long, the Golden State Warriors were waiting to be back at full strength. But when one guy comes back, it seems like another goes down. The injury bug has been a real challenge for them. Now, here's Green. He averages a bit over six oh, points a game. Injuries, though, are an First obstacle the Warriors. Foul. RJ First have met head on. Yeah, it's impressive how they've the overcome those hurdles, insisting on still Bring playing on their Green. best basketball, even the when they're shorthanded. The and they've had a chance to develop some younger players when the older guys, the established players, were out. Gotta use these opportunities because five minutes can go to ten, just like ten minutes can go to zero. And he, oh, great ball off. movement there. And here are the Warriors now, trailing here by eight. Last time they came together was in Minnesota, where they fell the Wolves. Yeah, on the road, you're already a little out of your element. Then the misses from the line become contagious. Yeah, they weren't doing themselves any favors missing all those free throws. You could sense the frustration mounting as the game went on. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Balls knocked loose. Curry with the steal. One on one here. And there's the pass to Looney. And a Come great on, assist by Curry Looney. as that one goes in. Wrong. That's a fantastic decision by Curry. Defense too focused in on Steph. Conley kicks to MP. Got a piece of it to the middle. And finished off Gobert. by Gobert. Is this Just from playing with poise MP. and confidence. And they continue to put points on the board. And it's because they're not playing in a rush. They're just letting their shots come naturally within the flow of the offense. And stolen by MP. And now the Timberwolves on the break. A pull-up. And there's another one for the Timberwolves. 
And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Golden and State the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. A tough loss coming against the Rockets in the last game they played. Yeah, they made some spectacular plays in it right to the very end. Just couldn't get over the hump. And that is why Coach has been reaching. Warriors trail by 12. So with Curry sitting on the bench, here's the group that Steve Kerr has on the floor. We'll see Wiggins and Green play in the forward spots. Clay Thompson is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Looney in at the center, rocking down the middle. Thompson with the bucket. Guys, that's just really unstoppable. He poses a ton of matchup problems for whomever he's facing. Frank, we know that Clay Thompson had 941 days between NBA games because of those injuries. But he was using that experience away for good. And Clay announcing with that his family foundation would have a 941 day initiative. Programs to help workers who have suffered career setbacks. Thompson helping others with their comeback. They get a hand Ooh, on it, foul. and the foul called on MP. That's his first foul. Rudy Gobert Team has foul. checked in for Nas Reed. Timberwolf substitution. Rudy Gobert. DiVincenzo passes to Wiggins. Back to DiVincenzo. Outside green. Lock at six. From deep. The rebound by Prince. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Even though he is capable of hitting that shot, I'd like to see him work for a better look in that situation. MP, no good. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Prince against Wiggins. And the wide open shot from Green. Solid Green. shot from the distance of about 14 feet. Mr. Reliable, you can count on Green to show up every night. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks very much. MP in the last game against Charlotte just was phenomenal. He dropped in 29 points and played tremendous defense as well, really causing havoc on both ends of the floor. And that game had his name written all over it. Kevin, we'll see if he can come through in a big way again tonight. Thanks, David. Yeah, it was a special night for him. The team really fed off his energy. Yeah, the catalyst for that, man. Oh, it, it was an down. effort that I'm this sure to he's hoping to replicate MP. tonight. And it's very likely that he and his guys can carry that momentum into this one. On three-pointer, Wiggins connects from the three-point range. Wiggins! Wiggins has got it back out of a single-digit deficit for the Warriors. Conley dishes to MP. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. One of your trademarks, Richard, was athleticism. From the days we first saw you at Arizona, and we're seeing teams really place right now a premium in today's NBA on that athleticism factor. Yes, when you talk about positionless basketball, then you typically go to the guys that can do it all, and those are the wing players. They can guard smalls. They can guard bigs. They can do a little bit of everything, and that's why teams are looking for them. Offensive rebound. DiVincenzo kicks to Thompson. Drills the three-pointer. Thompson's got five points now in the quarter. And this is Thompson's shot. One of the most gifted outside shooters of the NBA the world has ever seen. Timeout call first of the game for Minnesota. Curry's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. Timberwolves also changing it up. Ken Burks is checked in for Towns. And Anthony Edwards subbed in for Prince. Now, MP. We saw him with 29 points last game. Edwards finds Conley. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Here's MP and a missed late. And so it's Thompson with it. He'll bring it up for the Warriors. Only given up six here in this quarter. Shots go by Green. Good luck against Green inside. Even when you throw contact at him, he just fights twice as hard. Timberwolves leading by six. Pass to Birch. MP with it. He's covered by Thompson. 
MP, that's for two. And finished off by Go Gobert. Bear. He knows his job. Gobert is there to own the glass and cash in on as many second chance that opportunities as he can. And the foul called on him. With a 10-point lead, Your so warrior. breathing. 46. The Timberwolves. 56. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors, you can't see. Ladies and gentlemen, your Warriors. We play through the first team. half. Plenty of basketball though left in this one. MP really making a difference here. But, but really, the numbers aren't gaudy. They don't stick out. But his energy and impact does. I agree. The numbers might not show it, but he's had a big impact on this one. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, out there, number one bits are at the forwards. Edwards in town. Now they out there with MP. And it's Gobert in at the center position. And just a terrific effort on the offensive glass. That's how they're going to cut into this league. And Greg, a, a dunk like that is sure to give them a spot. Edwards passes to MP. That shot missing. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. And the foul called on MP. First and that'll be his third foul so far. Curry finds Wiggins. Thompson for the triple. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. They've held a 12-point lead early. Edwards looking it over. Pass to Towns. Over Wiggins. And Towns the bucket on the assist from Edwards. Assistant Towns has got nine. Edwards. And showing he can make plays for others. Edwards moving it with conviction. Back to Curry. Looney kicks to Curry. Thompson outside. Launches a three. And it's Thompson again missing. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. And you look at Anthony Edwards. Oh, and GA, he is becoming the leader Thompson. of this Timberwolves team, isn't he? Second I think foul. he is. I mean, partly it's his production. Shooting from Minnesota. There's numbers up and across the board, but Shooting. it's also wow. his personality. He plays with tremendous swagger. And what you appreciate about MP is how even keeled he is. He's someone his guys love playing with. And with an update from the sideline. Minnesota Let's foul. check in with David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. First, of course, the Warriors' foul. offense stands Second out for its foul. emphasis on ball movement. At the line Coach Steve Kerr says if you get to touch the ball and be a part of the action, whether it's as an assist man, ball mover, shooter, dribbler, the more people who are involved in the offense, the more powerful it becomes. Kevin, strength in numbers indeed. As has always been the case for his offense, the more the better. And it's worked for him. D.A., thanks. Warriors trail by 15. Thompson outside. And the foul Two called foul. on MP. MP. And now, yep, this will Fourth be a coach's challenge. Foul. We thought that might Third happen. Triggering foul. a review of the personal foul. And I think when it comes to some of the more the difficult calls time out, time to make, out. Personal fouls can be Time tough. The action is so fast that it's really tough to catch He's everything in real time. The no wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able to. The challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They have decided that the call stands as it was made on the floor. And, you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to review it. The double checking and the game continues on. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip. Five for ten. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. And the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo. And he's good on the three ball. With all the attention to play it can lead to open looks for others. Nice decision. Minnesota calls timeout. And from College of the Pros, Richard, you played for some legendary coaches. And speaking of coaching, is that something you've ever entertained doing? 
I never have and I never will. Coaching, the amount of hours that you have to spend sounds exhausting. I love my job right now. And you know why I love my job? Because I get to work with you. Oh, listen, and the feeling's mutual. The three from MP. Kept alive, Minnesota. He kicks it to Edwards. Shot clock at five. He gets that one. Anthony Edwards. Edwards got 11 points. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And a drive like that one can be a knockout punch. Great finish at this junction. Here's DiVincenzo. And foul two on the five. shot. He'll shoot two at the there. free throw line. Second personal foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. The throw drops for DiVincenzo. The for the well, great. Warriors trail by 20. On the wings, Thompson and Wiggins. Kavon Looney out there with Jonathan Kaminga. And it's Curry in at the one. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. McDaniels passes to Gobert. Yep, that one goes in there. Gobert, not the same skinny guy he was when he entered the league. Gobert, a lot less affected by contact these days. Curry can't get it to go. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. From deep three-point range, Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got seven rebounds in the game. Edwards kicks to MP. Fourth quarter, still young, just over a minute play. Nick Daniels finds MP. Off target from outside. He knocked down a three in the first quarter, but he's still been unable to connect from deep past the break. Thompson outside, and it's Kaminga top of the key. And that one goes long. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Here's MP. Gobert controls the rebound and puts it Go back there. up and in. When Gobert goes up, he gets up. The hair time to spare as he slams the put back home. Now here's Curry. Wiggins outside. Passes to Looney. Thompson outside. The pass to Curry. Takes the three. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. He was solid in the first half from deep. He's a guy who can get hot. Let's see how he does here in the second. MP dishes to McDaniels. Back to MP. That's tipped. Outside Edwards. Six to shoot. He feeds it to MP. Good. Play MP. so big inside. MP size playing a part there. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Timeout called the Warriors. Calls timeout. By the looks of it, the Hall of Fame 30. class of 2023, Richard, should be loaded. A lot of big names could be headed to Springfield, Massachusetts. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful to see two of the biggest rivalries, San Antonio and Dallas. Tony Parker and Dirk Nowitzki are on the back. And, and then there's again. Mr. Wade, Dwayne Wade. Warriors, we know about that, so there's going to be a lot of rings walking into that ceremony. A lot of rings indeed. Michael Conley, he's checked in for McDaniels. Here's Wiggins, kicks to Kaminga. Krills it from outside. Yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The lead just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Down low, here's MP. Another shot. The shot, no good. So Golden State will take it the other way. Well, despite some uneven shooting from him, they're still out in front. A three-pointer. Wiggins, another three for Golden State. Wiggins. Defensively, they just look out of sync, not closing out on the threes in time. MP outside. Fires for three. No good on the shot. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Wiggins passes to Thompson. 
and airballs the triple. That one was way off. Timberwolves leading by 17. Gobert trying to get open oh, and Towns down. the bucket on the assist this by MP. And hey, you see Big Cat that has the size and coordination. Hard to bump him out of his rhythm. Thompson misses. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Two minutes remaining. Edwards in the game. kicks Two to MP. There's the dish to Gobert. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. That's on the defense there. When MP senses one of his guys is open, he hits him right away. And another great look at the 2K drive. And the awareness of his footwork and body on that drive. Wow. Pass to Looney. Back to Thompson. The tray. Traps in the tray. This is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness, as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Timberwolves. We got to see a display of offensive prowess in this one. They got it done. High scoring game. Bucket after bucket. They were really in attack mode all game long. And in the win loss column, tonight's game will push their record up to 54 wins on the year. And once they polish off this win, they'll be one more victory away Warriors from sweeping the Clay season series. Thompson. The one player Fort that really foul. stands out, of course, First in this one. Foul. It was a dazzling game for Anthony Two Edwards. Minnesota. I think and people he. could learn a lot from how versatile he was in this one. Whatever the situation was, he found a way to be a difference maker. And the Warriors with a completely new five on the floor. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Ken Burch is checked in for Gobert. Torian Prince comes in for Towns. Rivers is checked in for Edwards. And Jordan McLaughlin subbed in for Mike Conley. Personal foul. Oh, an incredibly First smart player. Iguodala knows how to draw the whistle the by manipulating Andre the defense. Hey guys, how about Andre? Yeah. So it's Minnesota winning this one easy. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy Thank territory. No loss. That's exactly right. Game. With the way they Thanks again, guys, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. This was not one of my best games. But it wasn't that bad. I did. See you guys in the next video.